If you've ever used a digital whiteboard but don't like how unnatural it feels to write on them, then you're definitely going to like Limnu. With a digital whiteboard like Limnu, you're gonna want to be able to write on it with your hand instead of using a mouse or a trackpad. And I think the pen tablets that Wacom makes are one of the best choices. This video is sponsored by Wacom and I'm proud to partner with them because digital whiteboards plus pen tablets equals a significant whiteboard upgrade. Trust me, you'll never wanna go back to a regular whiteboard. Hey everyone, it's Sam Carey with New Ed Tech Classroom, and on this channel we show you everything you need to know about teaching with technology. I think Limnu is one of your best choices for a digital whiteboard if you want to use it for direct instruction, for sketchnoting, for mind mapping, brainstorming, or small group collaboration. And that's because, in my opinion, it's the most natural feeling digital whiteboard to write on. For that reason, I personally use it as my preferred digital whiteboard when I'm doing professional development for teachers. Limnu is really built for drawing, much like a physical whiteboard. On a Limnu whiteboard, you'll see that we can choose from a pen or a marker, and that you can also choose the thickness of that pen or marker, as well as choose from different colors. When drawing on a Limnu whiteboard, it's the small details that make a difference. Notice, for example, how when I draw, the color disperses slightly unevenly, exactly like an actual whiteboard and marker. I will have to say that drawing on Limnu really only feels completely natural when I'm pairing it with a pen tablet so that I can write with my hand rather than use the mouse or a trackpad. One option for a pen tablet would be the one by Wacom, which is the most affordable pen tablet that Wacom makes. My personal preferred pen tablet is the Wacom One. And I like this one because you can actually write directly on the screen and that feels by far the most natural to me. Like I mentioned, the reason why you would wanna choose Limnu over some other digital whiteboards is because it looks and feels like a real whiteboard. But of course, since it's a digital whiteboard, it's better than a physical whiteboard. Let me show you why. First, there's practically no limit to the board. To expand the space on the board, you can use the zoom in and zoom out tool, and then you can also scroll all around the board on essentially a giant open space. The expansive nature of the board means that you never have to erase your notes. Plus, although Limnu really shines the most when you're drawing, there are other types of tools like a line tool, an arrow tool, and a box and oval tool that you can add quickly to your whiteboard. The line would be useful for connecting ideas and doing a quick mind map. And like the draw tool, it's just really intuitive and easy to use. Like the pen and marker, you can also change the thickness and color of all the other tools like this arrow that I'll quickly add to my board here. Even drawing these boxes and ovals has a natural, strangely enjoyable feel to it. And that's amplified even more when using the Wacom One in particular. I honestly look forward to when I get to use Limnu and my Wacom One because it's fun to use the shapes and drawing tool. Limnu also has this text box tool that you can use to type text, and you can also add sticky notes if you want to add notes to your whiteboard. Although Limnu doesn't have as many options for adding multimedia as other digital whiteboards do, you can still add PDFs and images to your board. The way you want to do that is by going over to the three dots and then selecting add file. There you could find an image on your computer and then add it to your board. And notice that the images will import partially transparent, which is going to allow you to still see what you wrote on the board while also seeing the image. This would be particularly useful if you had an image of a graphic organizer and you wanted to model filling that in. So teachers can obviously use Limnu boards as a way to provide direct instruction, but you can also make them collaborative. To share this board with others, you just need to click on the lined menu and then select share board. There under the individuals tab, you can enter the direct emails for people with whom you want to share the board, or you can click shared link to access a direct link or a code to access your board. Note that collaborators can erase each other's work on a Limnu board, so I probably wouldn't use this for a whole class activity, but you definitely could use it for small groups. One of the many advantages of a digital whiteboard is that you can preserve the work and you can also do things like take screenshots and even screen record what you're doing as a way to provide asynchronous instruction for students and also just make your learning materials more accessible. So let's say that you had just written out the steps to a math problem here. All you would need to do is take a quick screenshot of that and then you could repost it back to your learning management system. And you could also use a screen recording program like Loom to actually screen record what it is that you're doing on your whiteboard. You could also be explaining that process and then you'd be able to post that video back to your learning management system and even share it with families as a way to help keep them more in the 
loop about what it is that you're doing in class. I'm gonna show you really quickly here how you can go about getting a free educator account. To get your free account, you just need to scroll up to FAQ and support and then select educator plan on the drop-down menu. There you'll see that you can follow steps to apply to get your free educator plan, though you do need to meet certain criteria in order to be eligible for that plan. If it turns out that you aren't eligible, you can still access Limnu for free. With the free account, you'll only be able to access a whiteboard for 14 days, but you can still have unlimited collaborators. Note that the pro plan is five bucks a month, so if you plan to use it a lot and you don't qualify for the free account, then it's still not that bad of a deal. If you're interested in learning more about some additional digital whiteboard programs that you might wanna use in your classroom, then be sure to check out that playlist above. Thanks so much, and we'll see you in the next video.